Hi, I'm Steve with Outdoor Essentials, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to build a fence panel like the one you see behind me. Let's get started. To begin, let's talk about tools and materials. You will need four by four posts, three eight foot backer rails. These are typically pressure treated two by fours and pickets. For tools, you'll need a cordless drill, a hammer or nail gun, three and a half inch wood screws for attaching the backer rails, one and a half inch ring shank nails or screws for attaching the pickets, a tape measure, a pencil, a level, and a two inch piece of scrap for spacing pickets off the ground. As you can see here, we've already installed our post. We installed them this way because we'll be building our panel between the posts like this. We chose this style because it's neighbor friendly. The fence comes out looking the same on both sides. If you're face mounting like this, you should install posts eight feet on center. For more info on setting posts, check out our video on the topic. A note about fasteners before we get started. Some metals don't react well with certain types of wood. Here's a chart to help you choose the right type of fastener for your project. Our next step is to mark the locations of our backer rails. Installing backer rails is much easier if you have a friend to help you. And today, I have Jake helping me. Measure and mark one of your posts 11 and a half, 37 and a quarter, and 63 inches off the ground. Use a backer rail with a level to mark the same heights on the other posts. This way you can avoid being thrown off by uneven ground. Attach your backer rails to the post with two three and a half inch wood screws. Drive them in at about a 30 degree angle. We're installing our backer rails in this orientation because it will allow us to space our pickets however we like. More on that in a moment. Now it's time to attach the pickets. I'm using this custom jig I built out of a tube of four to space them. Because the backer rails are flush with the post, I don't have to fuss about spacing. I can just maintain the same spacing all the way down my fence run. Line up your first picket and make sure it's plumb. Then drive two nails or screws into each backer rail. Use that two inch piece of scrap to elevate your pickets off the ground. Check for level and plumb as you go. Repeat the process on the other side of the backer rail, starting from the other end of the fence panel. Attaching your pickets and checking for level and plumb as you go. And there you have it, a shadow box fence built between the posts. Check out the rest of our videos or subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips.